today's evening devotional. All on the altar. No man, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Luke chapter 9 verse 62. We are not all asked to serve as Elisha served, nor are we all bidden to sell everything we have, but God asks us to give his service the first place in our lives, to allow no day to pass without doing something to advance his work in the earth. He does not expect from all the same kind of service. One may be called to ministry in a foreign land, another may be asked to give of his means for the support of gospel work. God accepts the offering of each. It is the consecration of the life and all its interests, that is necessary. Those who make this consecration will hear and obey the call of heaven. It was no great work that was at first required of Elisha, commonplace duties still constituted his discipline. He is spoken of as pouring water on the hands of Elijah, his master. He was willing to do anything that the Lord directed, and at every step he learned lessons of humility and service. Elisha's life after uniting with Elijah was not without temptations. Trials he had in abundance, but in every emergency he relied on God. He was tempted to think of the home that he had left, but to this temptation he gave no heed. Having put his hand to the plow, he was resolved not to turn back, and through test and trial he proved true to this trust. As Elisha accompanied the prophet, his faith and resolution were once more tested. At Gilgal, and again at Bethel and Jericho, he was invited by the prophet to turn back. But, he would not be diverted from his purpose. And, Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. Elisha asked not for worldly honor, or for a high place among the great men of earth. That which he craved was a large measure of the spirit that God had bestowed so freely upon the one about to be honored with translation. He knew that nothing but the spirit which had rested upon Elijah, could fit him to fill the place in Israel to which God had called him, and so he asked, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me.